and here we are outside. Um, like I was telling you guys before, the outside has a very different look at nighttime. Oh nighttime. yeah. Yeah. So mm. this is this is what it looks like at night right now, uh, and you're gonna really see that uh, it's pretty dark. You know, it's not light. And the light pollution in the sky and how many stars you can see is actually affected by where you are. So when you go out into the countryside, you're going to see the stars much more strongly. In fact, like I think like way out in the middle of it, you can actually see the Milky Way shape. And it's really cool. Um, but here, because we're in the city, there's a little more light pollution. Cool. Yeah. Um, there's that little sign. Pay. <laughs> That's uh, these signs, by the way, I'll just give you a little rundown. In the full game, there's signs like this all over the place, and uh, the governors can control the messages that are on these. However, other players can hack them. And oh. if you hack these things, you can put in, uh, in a, any message you want, and it will appear for, I think it's 10 minutes. And after that point, it goes back to whatever the governor's message was. So. And there's a cooldown on them too, so they're mostly for the government to send out any kind of message that they want the players to see. But you know, you can hack it and put your own little thing out there too. And, uh, nice. Uh, By yeah. the way, John, because, you, because you don't see the stream right now, it's been spamming for like five minutes now. Everyone's saying jump, jump, uh, jump. Uh, <laughs> maybe. maybe. I, I mean, I, see, the only reason is the jump animations are not final right now, so I'll, I'll do a little jump here, but. See that's you can jump. It's just we're we're replacing those animations, so uh, I'm not totally happy with how those look right now. Now this is cool too. These, by the way, I don't know if we showed you these before, but uh, those parking meters are actually functional. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. Um, and you'll actually have to put coins in there to park in that spot without being flagged for a ticket. So you can still park there, of course, nothing's stopping you. But if the police officer comes by, he can actually give you a ticket for doing that. So it's a little something. To my uh i had a friend who was asking who's, can i be a parking ticket guy i said you know what you could probably play a cop that does that and you just confirm okay. that yeah if that's what you want to spend your time doing then yeah go for it so the the thing is here in this shop was kind of cool um you can't hear it right now but if i was not on streamer mode there's real radio playing over uh over the speakers in the store um I'll give you a little look at what it is. If you go here, and if I go in first person, you'll see on the cash register, there's, well, radio. So that's like the stream, uh, essentially, of what you'd be hearing. If it was playing, you would see the station that's playing right now. And I think this one is currently set to some kind of pop station in in um, Asheville, which is what this city is based on. Uh, in real life, I mean, Asheville, North Carolina. And that's why this is called Ash Hill. So right next door to this, where this is where you're going to buy all of your uh, your clothing. I heard it. Um, I think I heard Charles talking about that. Um, the way that the clothing store works is you're going to go ah, in there. Yes. Yeah, you're going to interact yeah. with the rack. You're going to take the clothes that you want. Um, you can go pay for them, or you can go in the dressing room to try it all on. So if you want to see what or it steal like them. on the character. Yeah, steal that's the thing. Them. So you have to go over there to the cash register here to pay for them, and then you can walk out. But if you notice how like there's these uh, these things I'm looking at right here, those uh, the security checkpoints there, if you walk through with items in your cart, which you haven't paid for, those are going to go off and you're going to be available for rest. You can only shoplift uh, inexpensive things, by the way. There's a certain threshold where it'll just automatically get returned, pulled out of your inventory when you shoplift it. But uh, for cheapy stuff, yeah, you can. Yeah. And so you see here, this is the bicycle store. And this is really kind of a cool interior. I love like that rock wall we got going and everything. Um, now, keep in mind here, like, we have these really detailed interiors. We're going to be carrying, like, every store you go in the entire game it is just a town square, but just, uh, picture the full world, you know, a huge, huge world, hundreds of people in it. This level of detail through the whole thing, you know, so. Wow. Yeah. Um, these are some of the bicycles that you can get. Like, right now, we only have one bike in here that's a bunch of different colors, so we're going to be putting in different styles. In Town Square, you can't ride bikes right away, but as soon as we introduce the vehicle mechanics when we're developing further down the road, um, I w would like to allow you to buy bikes here and ride them around Town Square too. So. Nice. <laughs> yeah, could be a little bit fun. 
Uh, you'll notice the sun is starting to come up at this point. Time's accelerated a bit right now. See the shadow moving across. Notice all the street lamps have shut off. Because it's, wow, yeah. uh, it's daytime now. So, um, I, I was kind of ashamed that I was indoors and you didn't get to see the cool <laughs> sunrise. All the uh -huh. light go red and everything. Um, another example of the uh, environment over here is... I remember before I was trying to say that we, we try and make everything interactive. So this is one example of it. I mean, this is just a little tiny thing. Toss a little coin in there. And uh, that's just one example. Like, everything we have, we were trying to make interactive. Trash cans, you can discard items in. Any chair you see, you can sit in. You know? Nice. Um, yeah. And uh, that's just, like, a small piece of it. Like, anything that looks like you should have some kind of function with it, we're trying to add function into it. Um, like, over here, for example, the newspapers. I mentioned before that you can get newspapers. You can read them. Um... See there, I just obtained a newspaper. We'll add a fancy animation on that later. And if I open my inventory, I now have a newspaper. And that is actually a live streamed newspaper content. And what's cool about this is um, this is volume one. Like I said, in the other one, I'm going to release more and more volumes. So there's always going to be new things to, to try out. Um, I never, you know, I didn't actually look into this before, but let me just go back here. Hopefully this sh vendor is actually populated properly because I never checked this beforehand. It's been a long time since I looked at this. But back here we have a little drug dealer guy. And, oh. Uh, yeah, so he sells some things over here. Uh, alley, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be as easy to get this in the full game, we'll just say yeah. that. But uh, I'll just like give you a little bit of an example. Yay, here. my inventory um, system. <laughs> yeah, good job. Um, I'll come out here in the light, you'll see exactly what it works like. So, um, in Town Square, it's pretty easy to get these things, because there's no currency, right? Uh, you'll mm -hmm. see now, if I actually use that joint, it's going to pull it up, it's going to stick in his mouth, and you literally have something in the mouth. Now, what's kind of cool about that, though, is, like I said before, that's, there's actual visual effects. You can tell how high somebody is and how they're high from what drugs just by looking at their faces you know is, like there's is that my joint effect. I, I think you did make this didn't you <laughs> yeah. i think you made the pipe i bought there too didn't you let's see uh, oh you did you put a pipe in as well oh yeah that. there's a pipe right there yeah <laughs> i'll just run around with that in my mouth for a while um what's something else oh I, i'll run over here and give you guys a little <laughs> <Yeah. look at. laughs> Another example of how things are interactive uh, is this here. So this uh, this here is the art gallery. And this is all art that's been submitted by other players. So you'll see like there's a little submission box right there where you can, um, if you draw art on a canvas inside your house, you can take it and you can submit it there. And uh, if it's approved, because, I mean, let's be honest here, we're gamers and we know exactly what people are going to draw. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, so those might not get approved. So uh, anyway, this is just that actually it's kind of a funny thing to show. But that was from us doing some dev testing. That's a, it's a painting we tossed in there. So I don't know why, but it is a burger. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a burger. <laughs> yes, it's a burger. So... Uh. Uh, we were testing that, so. Yeah, so every one of these places can get someone's painting. If you make a painting right now in Town Square, you can't buy paintings here because there's no currency. But um, come the full game at the gallery, if you'd like a painting, you'll be able to buy it off whatever the person listed the value at. And if you buy one, you can take it home, stick it in your own house. Uh, you'll see up there is a library. And uh, there's more paintings up there, too, usually, if we have more entered and uh the library will have real books like i was saying you can read them uh, you can um write them as well you can write your own books it's very nice. you know we have a, a very big focus on um, player input you know we want to make sure that the players can change worlds so having things like that is pretty important to us to make sure that this actually feels like you know i, I want every server that you go on just because it has different players to feel like a different world, you know, and, and that's the kind of thing like those signs that you see. Um, I don't know if you noticed it when I was running by the coffee shop over there. There's a there's a sign that 
um, has a little message on it where the owner of a shop, if it was a, a player shop, can can literally write what they want on that sign on the sidewalk and people are walking by. You know, like that's what I mean in that the players are going to have the ability to change the world quite a bit. So um, here's just more example of interactive stuff here. I mean, you can you know, get a soda. Nice. I like the popcorn animation over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's where you'll get your popcorn. You can, like, throw your popcorn at the screen and stuff. Um, that guy sells cinema tickets. I already have one. Um, let me show you what it's like in here, too. So this is the cinema that you can go into All married people have a with... quarrel once in a while, I guess. I don't know what movie this is. I hate I didn't it. actually look, but it would show outside uh, with the schedule. So these are all real movies playing, um, like... 24 hours a day with commercials in between and you know Watch you can fit tons of people in here and with all watch belongs. movies together it's really cool because these Shouldn't are we great movies we have like big you know big budget older movies like this one and then we're gonna have um some recent but uh indie movies oh, and what as well can I do? Here. what can i do i'll stay back out so you guys have seen that um anyway that that's how the movie theater works and if you see out here if i just run outside and look up at that sign again. Ah, Vengeance Valley. That's what's playing right now. So, yeah, you can really get an idea of, of what's going on there. And there's a whole schedule that uh, you'll be able to see, too, uh, like different times. So they actually play a set times, these movies. It's not just one finishes, another one begins. They're on a real schedule. So you can, wow. if, you, if there's a movie you want to watch, you can literally just look at the schedule, find out what time it's on, come watch it. You know, it's pretty neat. Uh, this, this cinema here is tiny it's only one screen it's a little little thing uh in roseport when you get into the full game roseport has an enormous cinema with tons of different screen rooms including private screen rooms where you can uh you can choose like from streaming service youtube vimeo that kind of thing and you can actually um watch stuff with your friends in there it's pretty neat uh, I think that's pretty much um, all we plan on showing right now um you know, I so guess I'll finish it off yeah do you want to see what? The chess system again. <laughs> oh, the chess and, system. Okay. Yeah, and they want to see you that you can actually put a piece and in the right square, apparently. <laughs> uh, of course you could. Um, here, I'll, I'll show you this first. But uh... Sorry, one second. That's all good. Um, and this here is a police station. I love... You know what's kind of cool about those? Like I mean, Oh, there's a moon coming down, too, over there. But the... Huh. Uh, and the clock actually ticking in the background too. What's cool about these flags is the wind that is affecting them will affect everything else in the game. Um, oh. It has some, yeah, so if you're shooting a bullet, you could look at a flag, you could look at how your clothes are flapping in the wind if you're wearing a dress or something, and you would know um, how that could affect the ballistics of a bullet, for example. Like all, Jeez. all of this is real. It, like that's actual physically simulated. It's not just animated. So yeah, it's pretty neat. So is that my flagpole? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> Jade pointing out all the stuff he's done, yeah. 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 Here's he the does county, a good work, dude. County Sheriff Office in, in Ash Hill. Uh, Ooh. You can, yeah. Not, there's not a whole lot to do in here right now. It's just a lobby, but we're going to be opening these doors, and then uh, that's where you're going to be able to go down to the shooting range in a town square. So that'll be fun. Try out some weapons. This guy, uh, he's just there to tell you what it is to be a cop and identity and how you'll become one. He doesn't really have um, anything he sells or anything like that. <clears throat> and in here, too, um, this is where you're going to be able to go downstairs into your locker room, for example, and, and get geared out. Because if you're a cop, when you log in you have to actually go to a police station and you have to go to the locker room and sign in as an officer because oh here's here's that sign I was talking about right here so these sorts of signs can actually be changed by the person that owns whatever shop is associated with for example there's this sort of thing all over the world um, corporations are gonna build rent billboards down the roads you know put their logos on it their message all that kind of thing yeah, this is a chess system you're talking about. <laughs> they want to see that, too. Well, yeah, I just want to show you something here, too. If you n look at this grass, notice every single blade is actually 3D. Every, every really? blade of grass. Yeah, if you really get down in there. See? It's not just a, a fake texture. It's actually some cool effect going on there. Uh, yeah, so this is the game board that they want to see. Um, 
I don't really. <laughs> they just wanted me to move something. Like, to well, you player. can sit on the table now and uh, like sit on the chair and actually play in yeah, that, so. yeah. All right, though. Um, I guess that is about it for the stream. I have to get going because it is late and I am over the, my time and I'm supposed to be getting out of here. So. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys like what you see. There's, uh, I mean, really. Like, this is a beautiful game. I, I'm really proud of our art guys and what they've done. And on the code side, too, I mean, just the detail of identity is so exciting. I mean, like I mentioned in the last stream, you know, these traffic lights are actually functional. If you run traffic lights, you could get penalized for it. Um, there's these crosswalks will be used to determine if you should have been crossing the street when you get hit by a car and that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, there's Jeez. a lot here. Um, <laughs> soon after, our art guys are already almost done uh, with this coffee shop. Really cool interior there. We're going to have some pool in there, like billiards pool, and you'll actually be able to play that with each other. There's a DMV mm -hmm. is going to be opening pretty soon too, I think. Um, and that's where you're going to get your licenses and that sort of thing in the game. Um, here and in the full game because keep in mind while this is just a town square and it's just a module in the full game this is still part of the world this is just a little piece of the city of ash hill and this part will still exist in the full world so there is what, a lot of what about apartments <laughs> uh the apart I, I i don't have time to get into that but i mean you guys have seen that in the other video the apart you know maybe yeah. next video we'll do we'll go through the different apartments because when you go in there you can you can preview the different floor plans and and Jay spent a lot of time on those, and they're really cool, like, <laughs> up to the big penthouses and everything. This here is going to be a furniture store very soon. Um, it's almost done, ready to be opened up. And uh, that's sort of like a little mall that we have there to leave room for <coughs> more shops of the town square. Um, and the bank is going to be opening up soon, too. And in the swap module, that specific bank here in Ash Hill is going to be one of the ones that you can um, have an encounter in, a robbery. So excellent. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, John. There. Not to put you on the spot, but uh, are you able to use the delete key uh, to use like an emote or something, or did I actually uh, undo that? It was never that, but uh, yeah, there it is. Now, the only reason it wasn't showing is because it looks a little weird because these are all getting replaced with um, my icons. With icons, yeah. Yes. Is there? You guys wanted to see one of these? Like, the yeah, air they're, guitar, they're, like, if anxious possible. Remotes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Please, please yeah. show them the yoga one. I, oh, one. I, I don't maybe. Even, I don't even remember what that looks like. I love with the air guitar to put a sound. I would yeah. put it in like where the guy's making like a fake guitar. Oh, they want to see the dab. They're all anxious Where's about the dab. dab. Where is that on there? It is right there. Okay, there you go. You saw it. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, <laughs> but it happened. <laughs> All right, guys, I need to cut this short. I am 10 minutes late, so I really got to get going. So I hope you do like what sure. you see here, though. And uh, yeah, we'll yeah it was some more. great. And we are producing a really cool video, which I hope you guys will get to see pretty soon, too. That's going to be Oh. Cool. Yeah. And the right. Square, of course, is right on yes. the horizon itself. So there's a lot coming. Oh, and our new website, too. So oh, yeah. There is a lot of stuff coming these next, like, weeks here. This is pretty crazy. So uh, anyway, you guys have a good night, and I must head out. Yeah, have a great night, everyone. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, late. Yeah. See you later, guys. I've got blue smoke in my location. I'm checking it out.
Get out now. I will shoot. We were making Smurf Berry smoothies, officer. Interactive too. So like most objects you see have function to them. Like for example, that. You can actually hear that fan going that's spinning now. And uh, I'll just show you around a little bit. It's a hotel Sick. lobby. What music's playing right now? <laughs> that's just some kind of hotel lobby jazzy kind of music. This is actually where the karaoke takes place. So this is the karaoke bar. And uh, all these TVs, when you play music, I, I can't put music on right now because while the game's licensed for the songs that are in Identity for singing, they're... Um, they're actual real songs. I mean, we've got songs from major, major people. Yeah. Disney. The even. VOD would probably get muted, and yes. you guys are probably going to want to look back on this so exactly. we can archive it, things like that. So that's the machine right there that allows you to start and queue up music so that you can play with each other. Um, there's an NPC over there with <laughs> looking a little butchy that play, or she'll sell alcohol and that sort of thing for consumption. Um, you can actually even just sit down at these chairs and there's a menu on the table. Wherever there's a menu, you can order food and uh, eat there with a fork and knife and order a steak or something like that. It's for role cool. playing while you're sitting here listening to people and watch them make fools themselves, as I'm sure most people will. Oh yeah, I I'm ready, man. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. It's going to be hilarious. But uh, all these all these TVs that you see up are actually dynamic. So when somebody's playing something, you'll see the lyrics bouncing across on those screens. I wish I could show this to you right now, but we're actually going to have a stream mode in our game that will allow Twitch streamers or YouTube people to hide that sort of thing. So even if you walk in here while somebody's doing karaoke, you won't hear the sound. Just it's a good a idea. Safety. Yeah, it's needed when we have a lot of licensed content like that. And here is the actual exterior of the town square. Speed up a bit. Finally. Yeah, here's your first look at, uh, at the whole thing here. So, we'll take I a know, little, like, like, run around. Yeah, would we be able to get screenshots of this? Oh yeah, sure. I'll take some high-risk screenshots. We can share them. Yes. I'm sure I, social uh, media would love it. I did get to see the other night, didn't I, when I was on with you, the actual karaoke function. And it was amazing. <laughs> yes, it's hilarious. It's going to be I had to fun. call my wife. I was like, come and look at this. This is incredible. <laughs> So you see these traffic lights, uh, they're all functional, even the uh, the crosswalks. And just note when, when the vehicles are in and you're playing Identity, these these really matter. Because if you run a red light in Identity, you will be um, flagged with a crime. And if a police officer pulls you over, you can be charged. And if you can't pay your ticket, you might go to jail. So, Sick. Um, yeah, we actually enforce that. Even reckless driving charges could be made if you're not driving into proper lanes and that sort of thing so we monitor all of that uh crosswalks here to uh for us to monitor if people are in the right place so you know if you're crossing the street and you get hit by a car whose fault is it well sticking your crosswalks <laughs> um we uh that that's the art gallery right there and the top floor of that building is a library so you can write books put them in the library other people can read them there's tons of public domain books in there like really good novels and you can just read them in a the game. Um, the bottom floor is all art that people have made and submitted through the painting system in their house. Yeah. And, and uh, I believe you're right beside the construction part that you threw in one of the dev logs a few months ago, actually. Yeah, there's a screenshot of this this part right it's here. It's nice. At one point. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you'll notice the streets. All streets are named. All buildings have addresses. So when you buy a house out in the world, that address actually applies. People can find it just by knowing where the street is and that sort of thing. Or if they have a GPS, that works too. But it's just kind of a cool little interaction there. Um, come up this way. Show you a little bit more. Uh, let's see here. So we have uh, this coffee shop will be opening fairly soon. The interior is already being made. That's not part of what goes live uh, initially. And this is here another indicator of the level of interactivity that we want throughout the game. So, so here, I'll just pop up here and show you what I mean. Sure. So we can use these game boards. And these game boards can be made into any game. These ones are set to chess. 
but they we actually have checker pieces and stuff so we can basically in a few minutes we can pump out games we can make board games and everything and they're fully hey. multiplayer the cool thing is these boards you can actually take them put them in your house too so you can buy chess boards or checkers boards or whatever game that we happen to have and stick in your house and your friends that visit your house can can play with you nice so, yep and yeah. anyone that's looking at this board would actually see these pieces moving around. It's all just free and open to the players. Um, yeah, just like that. Oh, sliding animations, good stuff. You see, though, yeah. when you look at the board, it's literally moving the pieces on the board. It's all even. It's even all live. the people that are walking by, not just the people playing, they can see the pieces moving, and yep. they can actually watch the game from distance. Yep, that's right. There's a little fruit vendor area. That's basically the market where you can buy and sell food when you... Uh, not not tons of reason to do it in Town Square other than just cosmetic purpose, but uh, in the real game, that's where you're going to sell fruit that you pick and um, vegetables that you farm. That kind of thing can be sold there. The police station here... Um, you'll be able to go in there and you'll be able to get information in Town Square on becoming a police officer, the roles of the police, joining SWAT, become a detective, you know, all that kind of information will be in there from a guy behind the counter. Um, you can't be a cop in the town square, you have to wait for the full game. But, uh, yeah, this, that's going to be a really cool place. And we're also going to open in town square, the basement of this thing is going to be a shooting range. So even in town square, you're going to hey. be able to get a gun. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Go down there and, and shoot it up and practice with the weapon system. Awesome. Um, this is a big area we'll see in the back. Uh, there's a... Uh, I'll just run up there. Whatever. So up here you'll see there's the tattoo parlor. And uh, it's hard to see. The light's kind of in the wrong spot right now. The sun, so it's a little tough to get a good look in there, but really cool. That's going to be closed at first, mm -hmm. but we're going to be opening it up so that you can get tattoos uh, really soon after the release. Uh, in fact, it's mostly done already, so... Um, and the tattoos, like like we were talking about before, a lot of the tattoos are going to be um, restricted. So you have to do certain things to unlock tattoos. And that, that goes beyond tattoos as well, but tattoos are a big part of that. So, mm -hmm. for example, um, you know, in prison is the obvious example I always give that... Uh, in prison, you can do certain things like a little mission to like shank somebody or something could unlock <laughs> a tattoo like a spider web on your elbow, you know, that kind of nice. stuff. Nice. Yeah. The DMV here is the building where you get all your licenses and do official things like, um, uh, you know, I hear. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's I didn't up? even notice that you're in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this building. Uh, oh, it, it, yo, yeah. that scared me, Motown. What the? Heck? <laughs> that, oh, this is this so is bad. City Hall. So City Hall is going to mostly be used for um, the courtroom inside it. That's definitely going to be the bulk of things. Um, you know, like I said, the clock, like the one in the hotel lobby, all these clocks are actually functioning, and that shows it in game time. So right now it's like almost quarter after noon, I guess. Um, if you look up at the sun. I guess it's behind a building or something right now, but uh, yeah, that's uh, it's all real live time and weather. Um, actually, nighttime looks fantastic. The bank, this bank is actually going to be featured in the second module coming up, already in production, uh, the swap module. So it's going to be uh, your first your first grab at the uh, the weapon systems that are in identity and the combat. Um, and it's going to be very realistic, so far more realistic than games you're used to. Um, if you've played games like Siege, um, think even more realistic. It, it's more akin to like the old Sierra SWAT games, actually, than anything else. So cool. that'll give you your first bit. And the reason I'm pointing it now is this building is actually part of one of those scenarios, one of the SWAT encounters. Awesome. Um, in the back here, this little back alley, it's just a back alley, but we're going to be... Uh, you can, that's one of the hot spots that you can go do some graffiti. So you're going to be able to go there and you're going to be able to spray the wall and do some art and ah. other people will be able to see it too. Yeah, I don't think we confirmed that yet, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Notice the sign there, playing now, Gulliver's Travels. So if you go in the cinema, you get a ticket, you go in, you can actually watch Gulliver's Travels. And the that, movie is that the Jack Black one? 
<laughs> no, no, that one's oh, not public domain. Jack Black no is too recent. <laughs> well, yes. I was going to say, because if it is, then that'd be amazing, because obviously there's so many <laughs> films you can put on there. Yeah, so you'll just go in here, and uh, you'll be able to buy the, uh, your tickets in there and uh, watch any movies. Over here, we have uh, a couple shops. Ride is a bicycle store. Yeah. Yeah, and you style. You'll get is a to see store. all of uh, Mark's awesome graphics out front. Yep. Yes, you will. Um, oh, there's another thing too. So, <laughs> this little thing here won't be here on uh, release. It's not going to be that easy to get that. But um, right now, I can just pick up the <laughs> marijuana. Show you guys an interaction system. Oh. Yeah. So uh, let me just get marijuana. Press E. I <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah. So you're going to be able to use that marijuana and Oh inventory. <laughs> it's really yeah, it's weird to me because everything you're saying is like delayed to what I'm actually doing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so when you use the marijuana it will actually, you know, have effects. All drugs do, all substances do. When you're drunk you're gonna have a hard time walking. You're definitely not gonna wanna drive. And uh this here um, I'll just back up a bit, even though we're still propping this a bit. Um, I thought this little dress is a little funny one. <laughs> uh, the funny thing about that is it won't look that way for necessarily everybody who looks at it. And Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. that one. The meme. It's yeah. that dress. <laughs> but it's kind of funny because it's just sort of a, a special little thing we put in there. And uh, it literally does look different depending on, you know. Just a random chance, I guess. And yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of other things in here too. Um, this is just you know a first little glance, so you can run around, you can check out the uh, the environment a little bit, you can kind of see how it goes, and get like a look at how the characters move. And um, we're going to be, I guess, soon we'll start doing some more of these sorts of streams and some videos, and we'll show you how the interiors all function, that sort of thing. Is a pretty awesome. little sound. Yeah. Yeah. The environment, like it's it's really And it's incredibly interactive too. Like that's one of the coolest parts about it, it's just how much you can do. Um There's the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've long passed that fountain on mine. Let's see here. The um I'll show you one other thing here. Sure. So, this is another example of just how interactive the world is, is that you can actually take these newspapers and read them. So if you interact with this thing, you actually get a newspaper in your inventory. And what's really cool about these newspapers is they actually have volumes. So the, the content of a newspaper is um, different for each one. And by that I mean um, the content is based on the community of that server. Okay, and yeah. it will actually be dynamic, and you can really read these newspapers. And um, this is all functional and implemented. And uh, there's volumes, too. So if you get a newspaper and you hold on to it for a while, um, more things will happen. New volumes will come out, but your old ones still work. And you can, you know, you can collect your newspaper and going back years and years, potentially. And so, uh, yeah, that is... Um, I guess a decent little just tour around. It, we're yeah. super late here, so I got to get going because I think we started this almost an hour late. <laughs> it's all good, man. Like I think the people that stuck around are very happy with what they've seen. It's it's crazy to finally be able to show off this environment because, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the screenshots we have of Town Square date back so long ago. They do, and it looks far better. Actually, um, it looks even better at nighttime. So next time we show it, we'll show it at nighttime because then all these lamps turn on. It just looks really cool. The lighting's incredible all over the place. We've done some cool things with lighting, allowing us to push um, lighting way far beyond what a, an open world game like this normally can. Um, we use some new technologies and it, it just looks incredible. So you'll see that pretty soon. We'll show this off uh, quite soon now that we're here. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, so we'll show off some of the cool features you can do next time, too. Fun little games and everything. Let's see. Yeah, and uh, I guess that's about it, given time. 
So Yeah, uh, we are super late, but we wanted to make sure that we did get to show you guys some stuff. Uh, really incredible finally seeing this environment. Um, just like it's it's almost, it must feel like a, a, a weight has been lifted off your guys' shoulders a bit because this has been behind the, the veil for so long, and uh, finally we get to actually walk around it, you know? Oh, it is, for sure. It's really nice to actually... Uh be at the point now where people can soon finally get inside and play it and we can show them really what we've created i mean identity is incredible the just even in the town square which is a tiny tiny piece um the level of interaction and everything is is amazing so anyway yeah, i'm really excited for everyone to see what you can do cool yeah. So I'll just end it here. So I guess, um, given that when I end this, it's going to kill the stream. So yeah, everyone... have a great night, everyone. Thanks yeah, for staying thank, later. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. We really appreciate all of your support. You guys have been um, an amazing, incredible uh, community. We we love you guys, and we can't wait to show you more. Yep. All right. Have a good night, everyone. And I guess we'll be streaming again in two days on Thursday. Yeah. All right. So See ya. Have